right, what is up, everybody? Welcome to another Guacamole Cards Hobby Box Review. Today, we have Panini Absolute uh, Football. Um, you know, not a set that I really love, uh, but it does provide value. And it does have a pretty decent investment outlook. So, um, we're going to rip it. We're going to take a look. Uh, we're going to stick with the format. I'm going to have a couple cutaways in uh, to run you through some numbers on uh, both production. Uh, actually, we're not going to do a production cutaway. I'm just going to tell you about production. Um, my estimate is probably anywhere. It's right around 10,000 cases. Uh, the difficulty with this, there are unnumbered cards and there is retail of this. So uh, my production number, I feel less confident about uh, this time. Um, than in the past, but uh, it is what it is, around 10,000 cases, but we will have a cutaway where I'll run you through some valuations uh, of past players in this set, and we'll take a look at, uh, you know, maybe some of the upside that comes with it, so uh, three autos, uh, two mem cards per master box on average, uh, let's get into it, let's see what we got, so here we go, um, this is a really interesting package in that, uh, and I, I guess it's set up because there is retail, um, is why they do it this way. But, you know, so there's this master box, obviously. We've got that. Get rid of my little peanut here. So we've got this master box, and then we have three uh, boxes each that can each containing, um, you know, one pack per box. So uh, it's definitely an interesting package. Not entirely sure why uh, they did it this way, but I'm guessing it's because um, they do retail. So again, we are looking out, of course, for kabooms. Kabooms are hot. Uh, it's a case hit. Um, so, you know, there's, I, I think it's 12 cases. Or 12 boxes for case so you know odds aren't strong uh, but you never know so let's pull for that case hit um, so let's get into box number one see what we got so Dax on the cover uh, still rocking the Dax in the background um, you know brutal injury this past week hope he bounces back so box number one it does come in the cellophane pack which I don't love um, you know, it kind of just looks cheap, uh, but is what it is. So let's dig in. And these cellophane packs are also just kind of annoying. All right, let's get into it. So first card, Miles Sanders. So here's your base card. Um, whoops, here's your base card. As this, they just go flying everywhere. So it's not bad. It does uh, remind me a little bit of like prestige and score, uh, which is not a good thing. I mean, definitely it's higher quality than that, but um, they've kind of had this look for a while too. I don't love it, but um, you know, some people do. So there's your base card, um, Miles Sanders. We have a D hop uh, with the Cardinals. And here's our first uh, rookie patch auto. Not too shabby. Uh, this is going to be our big one. Uh, the three patch tools of the trade. Or this is actually a rookie uh, rookie premiere. Uh, but these tend to be uh, the main um, hit card out of this set. You know, with the three um, patches. Usually one's a you know a, a football patch. So there it is, Michael Pittman Jr. Um, our first uh, auto hit of the set. So let's get this guy uh, sleeved up. Um, I know Colts fans um, got to be excited about this kid. Two more cards to go. We have a Zach Moss numbered to 199. I just sold a couple uh Zach Moss cards. 
So here's another one. And then to 25, a Gronk. Hey, have you seen my balls? So this will go in my wife's personal collection. She's a Pats fan, but she'll, she'll take a Gronk. So Gronk to 25. All right, on to box number two. And, you know, I'm just going to do both of them now. Save us a little time later. So with that Michael Pittman being pulled, uh, I'm going to cut away for a second, uh, pull up some values of some pass cards, um, and then when I come back, we'll rip these other two boxes. See you in a bit. Hey, everybody. Just wanted to walk you through some absolute values really quick um, so we can compare against uh, other products. So you can see uh, this is the same data I presented in um, my spectra review, but I, I reformat a little bit so that we're looking at uh, each product across different players. So you can see these are the top rookie quarterbacks for the last four years, um, and we're looking at them by product. Um, this has um, Prism, Optic, and Spectra in there, which are the top three, these three outliers here. So if we look at this without that, um, Absolute's going to be this green line, and you can kind of see uh, there's not much difference, um, you know, for these players and their top cards for, you know, versus one another. Uh, we do see uh, Lamar Select standing out a little bit, um, you know, versus the other products. But for the most part, uh, they all trade in a pretty close band. Um, so, um, so this shows Absolute has some value. So uh, here's the same data uh, in a tabular view, and you can see again Absolute. Um, you can definitely find some value. Um, in this product. It just depends on the player. Um, I did want to show you, so here's some Lamar Jackson, um, various cards, uh, absolute cards from his rookie set, and you can see the variation, you know, all the way up to, um, you know, $1,100, all the way to, you know, three bucks. So, um, wide range of outcomes for the top players, but as you can see, all these three patch quad autos um, do return pretty good value. Now, with that said, this is Lamar Jackson. Um, I wanted to show something else, so I'm not just showing you uh, the top quarterback from each class, but so here's Alvin Kamara from his rookie year. You can, you can see a big drop off, obviously, from you know not being a quarterback, being a running back, but you're still getting 40 to 50 bucks for that, um, you know, three patch auto. So still some value there as well. Uh, you saw we just, you know, just drew a Mac Michael Pittman uh, three patch auto, uh, and we'll see that how, how that fares over time. Uh, but that's it for individual card values. Um, you know, there is value there, and especially for those top hits. Um, again, back to this chart, uh, you can see a big return if you hit, um, if you hit really big in this product. Uh, so that's it for values, and we'll take it back to the main review. Thanks. All right, so I'm back. Uh, you saw that there definitely is upside on, you know, high-profile rookies in this product. So. Um, you know, don't sleep on it. Um, you know, it's not my favorite, but um, you know, that doesn't mean much. So we got J.J. Watt there in the front. You can see Kid Reporter in the back. And of course, cellophane always gives me fits. There we go. So JJ Watt base. We have a Khalil Mack base. And then whoever Steven Montez is. Wait a minute. Who are you? And why his card even exists. Uh, we don't know, but here it is. Oh, it's not our thick one, which is good. Uh, but Steven Montez, um, auto, uh, and that is a sticker auto, uh, but Steven Montez, number to 75, um, there you go, and then a Mitch Trubisky dual patch, uh, this one's kind of funky, I don't, not sure what this one on the left is, it's shiny, 
maybe it's a cleat or something. Um, and this has a canvas finish as well. So this is interesting. It's tools of the trade, number 99. It's a canvas finish on the card. And then this, I think it's a glove. I just tell you, it's a glove. So uh, interesting card there. It's a number to 99. And then we have a flashback. Jerry Rice, uh, 61 points, uh, 23.50. Is that fantasy points? Yeah, fantasy flashback. So um, whoever was playing fantasy football in 1995 had a good week uh, with Jerry Rice. So pack number two, uh, not super exciting. Let's get a kaboom out of this last pack. What do you say? Come on. Let's do it. Good mojo. Derek Carr. We got something thick in here. We have two thickies in here. Derek Carr. Debo Samuel. Terry McLaurin. Tools of the trade. Dual football. And again, this is the canvas. Uh, so maybe they're all like that. But this is number nine. Tools of the trade canvas. Uh, I am excited about what I'm about to flip. I just pulled Chase Claypool in uh, Spectra. We're about to pull him again in Absolute after his monster, monster four touchdown game. It's a War Room to 49. So not an auto. Did we get shorted an auto? No, we didn't. We got a, so Terry McLaurin, a rookie patch, or not a rookie patch, patch auto. We got our uh, Michael Pittman and we got our Steven Montez. So Chase Kloopel, nice patch though. Uh, nice thick card. Um, I probably will take a look at putting this together with the RPA I got from Spectra uh, and put them both on eBay. Um, so if you're collecting Chase Claypool, looking for Chase Claypool, um, Send me a message and we can chat uh, about the eBay listing. There you go. And then last but last not least, Yatter Gross Matos, 275. So nothing too special. Um, you know, this Michael Pittman card um, is nice. Um, would have liked to have seen maybe one blue, one white, uh, or something like that. But it's nice. Uh, Terry McLaurin is cool. Uh, second year auto, um, and then this uh, Steven Montez. Um, but hey, you know, the Redskins uh, have quarterback trouble, so I don't even know if this guy's still on the team, um, but we have his autograph. There it is. So thanks, guys. Um, quick rating. Uh, I give this 11 on qu card quality and appearance. It's not my favorite, but I know some people are into it, uh, and the quality is good. Uh, parallels and inserts, 16 out of 20. I've got no real beef uh, with them. Like, you know, this, uh, I don't know where it went, but our, like, Jerry Rice uh, fantasy flashback. Um, I don't know. It's a little cheesy, but um, it's not bad. The tools of the trade cards are cool um, with the canvas finish. So, uh, PC appeal, 12 out of 15. Um, I mean, if you hit a player you like, you're definitely going to keep it. These are... You know, cards like this are attractive, so if like, you're a Terry McLaurin collector, uh, this is something you're going to want to hang on to uh, in display. It is a nice card, uh, no doubt there. Uh, investment Outlook, I gave it a 20 out of 25, um, which you know when we went through and looked at those values, you see there is upside uh, with cards from this product, So, um, which you know for the price point of this product in the low 200s, um, it does present some good investment opportunity. Uh, and then value, uh, because of that low price point in the low 200s, uh, you're getting, you know, 15 cards uh, in a hit box. You're getting three autos in the low 200s. I think it's pretty good. Uh, 21 out of 25. So overall, it's an 80, um, which, uh, you know, is a pretty good score. I'd say this is an average buy. Uh, if you're into it, pull the trigger. If you're not, you're not missing out on too much. But there is a little bit of investment upside. 
so that is it. As always, if you appreciate this, I do appreciate a sub. It helps a lot. So thank you, and we will see you next time. Happy ripping.